Hey guys, this is Brian here from my good iPhone, and today I wanted to share with you this tweak that came out, well, actually I probably wouldn't call it a tweak, probably more like an app, uh, came out in Cydia uh, about a couple days ago, it's called Home Screen Settings, and it's $1.99 in Cydia, and again, definitely well worth it. So here's how this tweak app, whatever you want to call it, works. Um, it allows you to add part of your settings to your home screen, and it creates icons for it. Here's an example. So right now, uh, I'm not on Wi-Fi. I'm on 3G. Normally, I can go into SP settings and you know enable it that way, but I don't want to do that. So if I go in here, this icon that I made, I click Wi-Fi. Immediately, this pops up. Now, if I want to turn Wi-Fi on, I come to the networks, and then here's my home network right there. Um, so you can see that's how that works. Same thing if I did this. Uh, let's say I'm browsing Safari, and I don't know. I want to clear my history. So I can click right here, go clear history, uh, clear the cookies, and then clear the cache. Um, that prevents me from having to do this. You know, I gotta, the, normally what I'd have to do, I gotta close it, then I gotta go into settings, then I gotta scroll on to Safari, then I gotta do the whole thing again. This is much easier. So if I open Safari like this, think about it this way. It's open, I close it, I go over, right over here, and go to the home screen settings. Now, if you manage your icons effectively and you did this right, you know, uh, I know there's a tweak out there that every time you close uh, an app, it takes you directly to your home, your first home page, not what you were left on. So that tweak would work well with this. Um, there is also wraparound that I will be showing uh, in another video soon, which is all, which is nice too. So you you know maybe you have one page dedicated to all your settings. Um, and say, you know, okay, I'm on the second page, and instead of me having to go seven pages to the right, uh, I can just go two to the left, and it'll be right there. So make sure, basically, this theme is really about placing your icons kind of nice together. Uh, it's great. Um, I guess you could say it cuts down on the time that it you know, takes you for navigating through your device. Uh, to add a icon to your home screen, you're actually going to have to go into settings. And then you can go... All through these, and um, there's a lot of them that do have the ability to add to your home screen. See, like right here, if I click this and I add this to the home screen, it'll come up with the settings for sandstorms. Let's do that. And it's right over there. So if I click that, here it comes up again. Oh, it's not working. Interesting. Well, there's an example of how it didn't work. Uh, the reason that would be for me. Is because I'm on 4.2.6. Um, this tweak, they, uh, the developer says that it works for 4.3.3. He did not specify about 4.2.8, uh, and I don't believe those are the same firmware to begin with. So um, make sure that if you're if you're on Verizon, like I am, uh, this this does work for some of them, as you can see. I just showed you for these two. Uh, you won't be able to get some of the others, and actually there's a, there's a notification that pops up the second you install this that says uh, just what I said to you, and that's just an example of how it didn't work, which I actually didn't know, which is funny. I don't know why that's stuck there. Um, regardless, so you see how you add an icon, and then you know how to move it around. So that pretty much does it for this. It's a great tweak. It's 199 Insidia. Definitely worth it. Um, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.